What is going on everyone? My name is Akras and I'm a hat seller now, but I only make half finished hats because I'm a huge Mario Strikers Battle League fan. Yes, as you can tell, I played a lot of Mario sports games on Nintendo Switch, including Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Golf Super Rush, and also actually Nintendo Switch Sports because it kind of looked fun. Now all these games are very well and fun, but they seem to lack a certain kind of content. And the game we're talking about today, Mario Strikers a Battle League, is a no exception. This game came out in June, but there was a certain lack of content. Like, the quality was definitely there, but why were there only 10 characters, 5 stages, and like, no stage hazards compared to the Strikers Charge, which had a bunch of stages with a bunch of hazards, a bunch of characters. It was really weird. And to add to that, that Shy Guy and Daisy got added with the new Desert Rune stage like a month after the game came out. That makes me kinda suspicious. But nonetheless, that is not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about the next two waves as Nintendo has announced that there are two more waves hitting Mario Strikers Battle League all containing two characters, one stage, and new gear. And I'm here, the Mario Tennis Ace is extraordinaire to talk to you about what characters or stages could be in some of these updates. So get your glue and scissors ready as we're gonna try and fix this game. All right, let's start out with the characters as we're gonna start out with Tadet. Now Tadet nowadays is legit in every single game. She was in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. She was in Mario Tennis Aces. She was in Mario Golf Super Rush. She's legit in everything and it's always Toad's partner. And as you can see from the roster so far, there are like a lot of like partner characters. We've got like Peach and Daisy now, Mario and Luigi, maybe something for Rosalina, there's nothing for Toad, maybe something for Yoshi, a DK and Bowser technically, uh, Warren Wall and Luigi. So you can kind of pair them up and figure some stuff out. And Toad is one of the characters that doesn't really have any characters that he could team up with. And to add to the fact that Toadette is pretty much the same as Toad, but just with a lot of pigtails, has about the same body size. This would be a very easy and probably very underwhelming character to implement, but I could definitely see Nintendo going with this route. Now the partner thing is pretty much theorizing on my end, but if Toadette could get in, then Yoshi is another character that doesn't have a partner and Birdo would be perfect for that. Not only would Birdo be a great partner to Yoshi, but Birdo was already a Mario Strikers charge, one of my favorite characters in that game actually, and would just be a very fun character to get into this game, as Birdo is in quite a lot of spin-offs, not in every single one of them, uh, but is getting in more and more of them, so I could definitely see Birdo making it in. Another one of my favorite characters that I'd like to see return from Mario Strikers Charge is Monty Mole, as Monty Mole was one of the strongest but also funniest characters in that game. He could shoot really hard, but he could also tackle like a champion. He wasn't that fast, but Monty Mole would just be a fun character to get in. He's always a fun guy when he's in the game. Just look at Super Mario Party. Getting back to the Theorize, and another cool character would definitely be Pauline. Not only would she be a great partner for either Peach, Rosalina, or Daisy, or whoever, she is also in a lot of Switch Mario Sports games. Just look at Mario Tennis Aces, where she got included in an update. Uh, she got included in an update in Mario Golf Super Rush, alongside New Donk City. Like, Pauline would just be a great addition, and she has been added to pretty much every single Mario Sports game, but then only in terms of an update. So this could definitely be the case for her. Another character that I sorely miss from Mario Strikers Charge is Koopa Troopa. As Koopa Troopa compared to Monty Moore or something was one of the faster characters in the game. Didn't score quite often, but he was really fun to play as. Uh, my main gripe with getting him into the game though is that we already got Shy Guy, which is already like a small fast character. I don't know if they're gonna be doing another one, but Koopa Troopa would definitely be cool. He's always a nice chap dude. Oh boy, has it been five minutes? Because I'm here to talk about the partner theory again, as we're gonna be discussing the chances of Diddy Kong. Yes, you can pair Diddy Kong up with Donkey Kong with like the partner theory, but Diddy Kong was already character in Mario Strikers Charge, which would just be amazing to see him. He's been in a lot of uh, Mario Sports games recently, as he's also been added to updates, just as Pauline. The fact though is that Diddy Kong usually doesn't get added to everything, so I think he has a little less of a chance because he's more of a Donkey Kong character than a Mario character. But I'd love to see him in. We need some more Donkey Kong representation in Mario games. Another cool new character would definitely be Boo because his movement is very crazy, very different. Look at a game as Mario Tennis Aces for example. But Boo was already in Mario Strikers Charge on the Wii. And he was very different in that game as well, and I feel like with the potential with like animation in this game, they could make him look very nice, give him some funny like Haunted House-esque uh, losing animation, and he would just be much more unique than anything we got in the game so far, is we don't really have anyone who's floating. Yeah, Rosalina, but not like 
I don't know, certain feet up in the air. Now, as the Mario Tennis Aces fan that I am, I know obviously of quite a few cool characters that could come over that were in that game, including a new character for the Strikers series, which would be Spike. As the Mario Tennis Aces fan extraordinaire that I am, Obviously, I know that Spike was in Mario Tennis Aces. He was actually one of the coolest characters in the base game of that game because his super shot actually included the little bar that he usually throws in the regular Mario games. And I feel like with the potential for his Mega Strike, they could definitely Im implement that or maybe one of the Spike Balls. He's definitely got a character with a lot of potential. Kind of has the same body type as like Toad and Shy Guy though. But I would love to see this little man make it in. I've got one more character that I actually want to predict before moving on to the stages. But wait, wait what? I'm getting a message. Look to your left. Oh. Nintendo, please include the best boy in town, Bowser Jr. There is just so much you can do with him. Like... Obviously, as I mentioned with Spike before, he's like a smaller character, but he was already in Strikers. He was a fun character. The partner theory would work here because you could technically partner him up with Bowser and then have Diddy Kong for Donkey Kong. Like, please put in Bowser Jr. I love this character. He's amazing. And this has just been every single game. Now that the character predictions are over, I would like to get into some of the stage ideas I have. There have already been quite a few stages in this game, not really as unique as in Charge. But I do have a few cool ideas, as most stages so far have been based on other properties like Luigi's Mansion 3 and the Donkey Kong Jungle, but a lot of them have also been taken from regular Mario ideas, so I just went to look in that kind of direction, and here's what I came up with. First off, we already have a Donkey Kong Jungle, we already have a Bowser's Lava Castle, uh, we have like a Princess Peach Castle, but what about an Ice Castle, like an Ice type level? Uh, they would probably have to change the ground though for that and I don't know if Nintendo wants to do that because all the stadiums so far are kind of the same. So maybe they'll just make it like it's only the background uh, as they did with Desert Ruins. But an ice level would be very cool, maybe based off of like Rosalina's Ice World from Mario Kart 7. Nintendo, get some ideas here. Maybe include some penguins. There are your ideas. Another idea would be a mountain type stage as in a lot of the new Super Mario Bros games there's always there's always the same themes of like grass, water, lava, you know the drill. But there's always a mountain as well there but that theming doesn't usually get used a lot. So a mountain type background would also be cool. Maybe with some spikes in the background that I mentioned earlier, some flying paratroopers. Maybe it's like high up in the air that you see like a lot of characters high up. There are a lot of ideas for that one. Now for the last two stage ideas I've got, they are based off of two other Mario properties, as we've already seen one based off of Donkey Kong's Jungle and off of the tower from Luigi's Mansion 3. I thought it would be cool maybe to include a Mario Galaxy-esque stage with maybe like a lob on the background and a lot of the characters from that game. That would be very cool as Rosalina is now finally in this game. But another idea would be Isle Delfino. Like there's not really like a lot of like Mario Sunshine representation in there, but that would be very cool. Maybe there's like a stadium like in a part of Isle Delfino, which you usually don't see in Mario Sunshine. That would be a very cool idea. I would love to see either one of those because a hey, Isle Delfino and the Mario Galaxy stage. I love both those games and I'd love to see a stage from them. And that is going to do it for the predictions because I'm not going to try and predict the armor. Nintendo can do what they want with that. But we're only going to get one piece per wave anyways. And it's only really for the stats, not really for cosmetics. So Nintendo, you can figure that out. Yeah, I'm a Mario Tennis Aces fan extraordinaire, not an armor extraordinaire, come on. That's gonna do it for the Mario Strikers Battle League predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and what are you hoping to see in some of these waves, as we've got two more waves up and coming. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.